Aloha friends, welcome back to A Simply Simple Life. Today I will be sharing a Filipino dessert with you guys called puto flan. It's actually two separate desserts that I'm going to go ahead and combine. Over here in Seattle, there is a local company that sells puto flan. So I wanted to go ahead and replicate um, that recipe and share it with you guys because shelter in place, we're not able to go ahead and, and place an order through them. They are about maybe 45 minutes away. And I am craving Filipino dessert. So it's super easy because it's just two easy desserts put together. Okay, first of all, we're going to go ahead and make the flan. The flan is just going to consist of four eggs plus another two. So what you're going to do with the first uh, four eggs is separate it. You're going to separate the egg whites, put that aside, and then place the four egg yolks into a bowl along with the two additional eggs. And then one can of condensed milk. You're going to mix that thoroughly, strain it, and then we're going to start steaming that first. And then the puto part of it, it's going to be two cups flour with three quarter cups sugar, one can of evaporated milk, three teaspoon of baking powder, and then about a teaspoon of salt. And then um, you're just going to mix this together. Um, after steaming the flan for a little bit, we're going to go ahead and add this in there and steam it. Now with this part of the recipe, you can leave it as is and it's perfectly fine. But if you want a different color to it, you can put food, uh, food coloring, separate it into different batches, uh, put the food coloring that you want. You can also add ube flavoring, pandan flavoring um, onto the, the separation of the mixture or else just like I said, regular food coloring and there's this uh, purple food coloring or leave it as is. So first of all, let's go ahead and make the flan. I have my steamer already placed with a dish towel on the top because it just may, uh, prevents the steam water from dripping down onto whatever you're steaming. So I just have this with a little bit of a clip and then I have just one layer because it's a pretty big steamer. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on medium heat and then let that boil. All right, like I said, separate out the four egg whites. I have that to the side. I'm going to use that for the putu mixture. Now I have my um, eggs in here, the two regular eggs and the four egg yolks. I did uh, forget to mention that you can also add just a little bit of lemon juice. I don't have fresh lemon juice right now, but just about a teaspoon will allow the flavoring of the flan not to have that too much of that... Uh, that egg flavor you don't have to it's just optional but every time I make my flan I always add just a little bit of lemon juice I'm gonna go ahead and add my condensed milk mix that thoroughly and strain straining the egg yolks will get rid of these um, lumps of egg yolks onto the mixture and then you're going to have smooth consistency now you can just leave it here and uh, because it has a pouring spout and pour it onto your mold. I've already buttered my mold, but I'm going to go ahead and use, I have these. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here so it's easier to place onto the molds. I went ahead and, and buttered them and made sure that it's very well covered because of the, the ridges of the design of the mold. And then having it onto this container just makes it so much easier to pour about a quarter half full doesn't have to be perfect and then I do have two sizes I have like the medium size and these baby ones I bought these molds from Martha Stewart collection when she used to have her like um, store years and years ago okay I'm gonna go ahead and place this onto my steamer and steam it for about five to seven minutes. Okay. All right, they're inside the steamer cover. I'm gonna check on them five to seven minutes because there are little ones in there. I'm gonna take that out in five minutes and then leave the bigger ones uh, for another two minutes. More left onto that flan so I have more molds while this one is um, just resting. Let this rest for a little bit before you put in the puto mixture on top. I did add a little bit of a food coloring in here, the yellow coloring, just so that it has a bit more of a yellow color onto that flan. 
because some people like to have that yellow coloring you can always opt out which I prefer but I wanted to show you guys both version I'm trying to use up all mine but there's really a lot in there okay I'm gonna go ahead and steam this as well all right I have all my dry ingredients in here the flour the salt and then the baking powder I'm gonna sift it and then I'm gonna mix in the evaporated milk All right, I went ahead and mixed the flour, the baking powder, and the salt in here. And then I did whip the four egg, um, egg whites along with the sugar until soft peak. And then I'm going to mix it together. So this is the time when you can leave it as is for the batter. This is the plain batter. This is a strawberry or I'm going to call it strawberry, but it's a pink uh, food coloring. And then this is purple food coloring or um, you can use the ube. If you don't have this, then just a uh, regular purple uh, coloring will do. But I just wanted to have a variety of different colors for the, the puto. Alright, I went ahead and added the different uh, varieties of batter, uh, puto, onto the uh, mold that had the flan. And then fill it up three quarters full and then steam for another maybe eight to ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Try not to overcrowd the mold when you're steaming them. That's so pretty. All right, it's looking absolutely gorgeous. All right, I can just squeal from the cuteness. These are cute when you um, add different food coloring to them. And then look at this one. Not pretty. I have a couple more batches, but I'm gonna go ahead and start placing them onto this uh, beautiful serving plate. All right, friends, look at that. They're so pretty. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. As always, thank you for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo.